As promised, I am bringing you the Corpus section of the Spy Mission Tutorials for Warframe. Corpus can be a bit more difficult than Grenier in certain areas because their security is a little bit trickier, not to mention their locks take a little bit of time to get down. So without further ado, I would like for us to get on to the six vaults that Corpus had. Now we are on to our first vault. Obviously, like normal, you want to check and see what you're dealing with. You've got to open the vault first. And this layout is usually two guards on patrol, plus that camera. Always take the camera first, unless there is a guard in there. If there's a guard in there, there are no patrols. And all you have to do is get through that simple security measure. If Lasers are on a timer. Take out the camera so you're free to move through the room. And go through the next set straight into the vent. Once you're in here, you go about midways, straight up, and it'll walk you right into the vault. You don't have to kill the guard in here. You can actually hack the console past him. I just killed the guard because I'm a murderer. I don't know. The locks can take some getting used to. Always do the outside rings first. The middle falls into place if you did the outside correct. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, I know. And with this next one here, a little bit of difficulty with the guards again. Let's get this open. And this has two floors, and there's also two paths, depending on which door is open on the left or the right. This one specifically is the door on the right. Cameras will always be in the same place if they are there. You just take out one, then don't worry about going through the door, you just use the vents. Two ways across here, one is a bullet jump followed by a double jump, then aim glide. Or you can just jump to that middle container and then onto this platform if you can't chain those together. In here, there's usually one camera, always in the same spot. Then you can drop on down and through the vent. Once you're in here, it's a simple matter of just opening the door. However, if the other door is open, it'll all be pretty much the same maneuvers except for the end. You won't have a vent that leads straight to the room, you'll have a vent that leads right outside the door console. The enemies will not see you. It's okay to go through the vent and hack that door over there. After that, you just make your way back out. Now we're to vault number three, I believe. Just give me a second here. A little bit of issue with guards again. And there we go. Excuse the blood on the door. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, okay, this one's pretty simple. This one's about speed, so don't worry about a slower warframe. Get someone else to do it if you can't. All you have to do is stay ahead of these lasers and move into the alcoves. On occasion, though, that vent up there is open, but I'll get to explaining that in a moment. Watch out for that camera. It got me quite a few times. On occasion, it can be in here instead of outside, so watch out for that. That button will turn off the lasers, and then you can make your way over here. Now my methods are to avoid hacking as much as possible, and do as few of them to leave less room for error. So we're going to go around, watch out for this camera, loves to get you around that blind corner. This way we've avoided every kind of hacking except for this one right here. But always come off of the side that you just saw me come off of. You never want to jump down in front because of the camera that's floating well, it doesn't float. The camera is mounted right there at the door, which is another reason I would prefer sneaking around than going through the front door. The camera will give you away every time. 
that vent right there on occasion is broken or damaged so you can sneak in if you were to shoot that and jump behind the laser to get into it. We are on to our next vault and from the mini map I'm going to guess that this is the elevator. And I was right. This one you're going to want to turn directly around and hug this wall. You got to get into these vents. If anything try to catch the lip if you happen to go to the wrong one. And that way you can jump over. Now I've said before these, these scanners can really save you some time so what we're going to use to see if it can spot our enemy before we have to run out in front of them. It's always important to check it, so let's just bring it up again. I know there's another guard, but I don't know where. And he happens to be right there. Now I'm glad I checked instead of trying to jump straight on up. So I'll just wait for him to turn around. Alright. And we jump up, get rid of him, and you can jump straight up on top of this. Now this is going to take timing. You have to be careful here because the wrong move, you'll fall through the lasers and set off an alarm. Not to mention the lasers damage you. So what you do is just wait for the opening. Feel free to take as much time as you need to make sure you get your timing right. And through the middle. The laser variations can change depending on level. If you're on a lower level area, you don't have to worry about nearly as many lasers as if you were to be here, which is on Pluto. Being on Pluto, this is the highest level corpus security you're going to see. Also, for the, just for the sake of knowing there are vents on these sides here that you can actually run through, even though they like to, all right, <laughs> even though they like to be closed a lot of the time. Matter of fact, there's a trick for those doors that I'll show you guys later. This is what I call the U-turn, because that's all this vault is. It's just one giant U. Always a camera, or almost always, a camera right on the inside. So you take it out, watch these lasers. You want to have good timing when dealing with these things. All you have to do is just jump across easy avoid. You can wall run or you can jump. And then we're gonna go this way up and over. Now there is a huge number of lasers that direction so I'm gonna show you how to sneak around them. Go through this vent and aim for that vent. On occasion that vent is actually breakable. On this occasion you want to land on the lip and use your aiming to turn around without falling. Then you just jump right on over then all you have to do is go down and you're right inside the vault. Don't mind the damage to the HUD, that's a certain type of corpus enemy that does that, it's not the vault. Nothing has gone wrong here. Oh, that was an accident. As a matter of fact, that enemy should be in the vault if he's making, giving me trouble. Bees. <laughs> Poor guy never knew I was there stuck in the ground. As always, I'm having a little bit more difficulty with guards. <laughs> Alright, this next one I don't have a cute or fancy name for. This is just another vault. This one specifically, there is a laser grid right on the inside, but lucky for you, they gave you the switch to turn them off right inside the door. Not a very good security measure if you ask me, but our tactic is to climb up these vents and stay on the high ground. That way we can avoid all the cameras they have down and all the lasers they have in between. Always look out for these. They're usually mounted in the same spot and they're easy to see. So then we're going to take that one down. There's another camera right there. It's on the other side of this platform but it is facing the vents in the back so just come off on this side and you should be fine. I say should be, you'll always be fine. It won't catch you if it just follow those instructions. Okay. Now I think here is where I'm going to show you the trick for these doors. You see these laser grids? 
whenever cameras see you, they throw you back, but there is a technique for getting through. Use your melee weapon's slide move, and it, if you time it correctly, the swing from your weapon should carry you straight on through the laser grid. And that covers the six Corpus Vault layouts for spy missions on Warframe. I hope that I've made this easier for you. I tried to show you what would what I consider to be the simplest and fastest ways to get through the vaults with the least amount of hacking possible and the least room for error. Now I want you to remember also that these spy missions, laser grids, and guard patrols can vary depending on difficulty. The laser grids are always in the same areas, but which ones are active are the variable there. Guard patrols, once you learn them, you'll never have a struggle, but that's why I want to remind you again that the codex scanner and the synthesis scanner both highlight enemies through cover and walls. So if you don't know guard routes, you can get a codex scanner at the market, or you can get the synthesis scanner from Cephalon Simris at any relay. If you don't know how to find Cephalon Simris, he's at the back of the Tenno relay. What you need to do is you go straight in after exiting your ship, all the way to the back towards where the Conclave room is, take the elevator up, he's a giant AI floating in the middle of the room. You can't miss him. Please remember that I also have a video on my channel concerning Grenier spy mission layouts. If you are unsure of how to go about those, that video should also cover everything you need to know about Grenier spy missions. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you again in further videos.